Hey, this is Scott Wilkerson again with a, another screencast. This time I'm showing you how to create and manage your lesson plans in Google Docs. So you've already set up your folder, your lesson plan folder structure. Now you're ready to start saving your lesson plans every week inside of those folders. So that way your administrators and your other teammates who collaborate with you can see those lesson plans that you've done. Uh, the very first thing, most important thing, is that you know if you are planning on using the same template from last year, it's okay except for the links up here at the top will link you to last year's lesson plans. So if you use these links to go see your, uh, the lesson plans for your teammates or for the people with whom you collaborate, you need to download the, the new template in the template gallery. If you don't use these links, but you do use the curriculum portal link, then you're okay to continue using the template from last year. This curriculum portal link will still work and it'll take you to the correct place. But if you do use these links, then you need to go download the new template from the template gallery. And there's a separate video in the email that I sent you with directions on how to download a new template and set it up from the template gallery. So if you need help doing that, do that first. But this video is assuming you've already downloaded the template and you are ready to start saving your lesson plans to your lesson plan folder. So the first thing I need to do is make sure that it's named correctly. It's very important that you follow the very same naming scheme that I'm about to show you and that you do that every week. This will keep your lesson plans organized for your administrators and for your teammates. So up here at the top where, it's, where it has the name of this file, just click on that. So this is my template that I've created and I'm ready for, to start saving these uh, lesson plans for week one. So all I need to do is at the very beginning of the name of my lesson plans, I just need to put the date. And I the date that I'm looking at is the Monday of the date that the lesson plans are due. So my lesson plans are due this week. The date for Monday is the 5th. So I'm saving this as August 5th, 2013. And you see that I have it saved as a two-digit month, a two-digit day, and a two-digit year. Follow this exact naming scheme to keep your lesson plans organized, followed by your last name, lesson plans. So the date, your last name, lesson plans. And if you follow this same naming scheme, this will make sure that when your administrators go in to see your lesson plans, they are in chronological order first, and then they're in alphabetical order. So you say okay. So I this is now my lesson plans for this week and I'm ready to save them. I need to save them to the folder that I went and put into my drive. So to do that you click on the little folder icon up here. It'll tell you if it's already saved into a folder. If it's saved into the wrong folder you need to put it into a different folder you just click on organize. And you'll see here's the lesson plans folder that I've already created. But I want to see my team folder inside of here. So I click on the little triangle over here to the left and you see that it expands. So now I see my team levels lesson plan folder. I need to save to this folder so I just click on it. And you see the check mark indicates that this, this week's lesson plans are being saved into my team's lesson plans folder. Once I click that check mark and then click on move, that actually moves my lesson plans into that folder and makes them viewable and accessible by anyone that has access to this folder. So this is like posting your lesson plans. So once you click on move, your lesson plans are now saved in your lesson plans folder. So let's just say we're ready to save our lesson plans for the following week. So my, these lesson plans are done for this week. Now I'm ready to begin working on next week's lesson plans. It's very important that you make a copy of it first and then save it to the folder. So click on file, make a copy and then you just see it names it copy of and then the same thing that I already had. So I'm gonna get rid of where it says copy of and then I'm just gonna change the date to match the date for the following Monday. So the date for the following Monday would be the 12th. So you see I've just renamed it still using the same naming scheme. Last name and then lesson plans. So then I click on OK. So I now have a copy and it will have your same lesson plans on there so now you can just go in there and modify anything you need to modify and update it for this week's lesson plans 
once you're ready to post them for your administration to see your new lesson plans, you go through the same process. Click on the folder icon, and it shows you the list of folders again. So remember, we want to save to this lesson plans folder, but to our team folder that's inside of it. So you click on this triangle, it shows you, here's my fourth grade lesson plans folder, and I click on that, to the check mark will show me that my lesson plans are now being saved to my team's grade level folder. So then I click on move, and so my lesson plans will now be saved into that team folder. All right, so if you need help with this, you can always email me, wilkersons at clark.k12.ga.us, uh, but I will be meeting with you guys if you need it. Otherwise, uh, I look forward to hearing your successes with working in Google Docs. Take care.